All right, what is going on today, guys? We are here at the Sutro Tunnel, which is, I guess, uh, one of one of the oldest mine sites in Nevada, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, this here is Chris. He is the uh, he's the property manager here. He's gonna kind of give us a tour and tell us about some of these buildings, and, uh, and then we're gonna go actually look at the tunnel. And, Got it. And uh, the tunnel. I guess, so it basically, what, I guess, give us a simple rundown on what it was. And... So Adolf Sutro uh, came to Nevada to look at the mining, the silver load, the Comstock load, and to see how he could profit off of it. Uh, so what he ended up doing was building a drainage at it. It's a tunnel that runs 3.88 miles back from here in Dayton, Nevada, to underneath Virginia City. So it was a drainage. It's a drainage at it, okay. so it drains water out of all the mines. So the uh, flooding was a massive okay. issue that they were having. Fires. Right. Uh, if you had heard about the um, uh, Savage Mine, it connects to the Savage Mine, and then the Yellow Jacket Mine had a terrible fire, and that's really what kind of stoked it and got it going off the ground. The tunnel project itself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this way they could drain water out of the mines, um, transport goods and people, and be able to protect people's lives. About how long did it take him to actually finish the tunnel all the way through? So he. The official um, start date is October 19th, 1869. Okay. That's the commencement date. They had worked on a little bit before then too. And then it completed in uh, 1878. Okay, so it took them about uh, nine years. Yeah, so. about nine years to be able to complete the tunnel. Wow, yeah. okay. And so this was kind of like, I guess in the earlier state, they kind of realized they needed this in the earlier stages of the mining. When, cause yeah, the, the flooding mining, was a massive issue. Mining started in Virginia City around like the 1840s or so, or 1850s? So 1859 is when they first started really, well, is when uh, Adolf Sergio first came here, it was 1859. Okay. And it, I think it was 1849 is when they first so they were done finding gold, 10, and then they found silver, and then it progressively went from there. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna look at this first building. Um, this is the old carriage house uh, where people would uh, park their horses and carriages when they would come up to this. And this, I guess, would have been a pretty big like town site too, right? It or was a huge town site. At one point, there was three to four hundred people living here. Wow. Not just here. This was the work site. The town right. was down there. And I guess because we're so close to Virginia City, it was kind of a lot, probably a lot of like homesteads or things just kind of spread like on all the way up to Virginia City really because well, here was the town site and they people could travel f through the tunnel to Virginia City right pop right. right up in the Savage Mine there that'd be cool if they could open that again one day yeah you can go all the way through well hopefully one day yeah <laughs> and so somebody you said converted this to yeah, yeah, their yeah. house in like the, the 60s, 60s or 70s. 70s and 80s a lot of people were living out here partying out here there was a bar um, this house here the, the carriage house got converted to a home. And uh, we haven't worked on this one yet, so. Okay. <laughs> Hold your Might breath be a little mess. There, but oh, a lot of asbestos. This, this oh, one is pictures. one of the big projects that we need a lot of help with. Oh, wow. We're getting there. Oh, look at the brick floors. All the way through. A lot of, a lot of p dead pigeons in here. Oh, do you have your flashlight, Danny? Wow, even a lot of these old beams and stuff. So this would have been like a uh, an old barn yeah. area, basically. It's just the stables, yeah. Wow, an old. Uh, I can bring it. I got one. See if we can use my phone flashlight. So this is an old trough. Here. Yeah, the phone light white works pretty good. And uh so he so he lived in this. I'm sure it was a little different. Yeah, I, this was working pretty oh, good. Perfect. That's really cool. Yeah. So this is one of the projects that we're raising funding for, but what do you, what is everything you're trying to to just clean it up or clean it up um what do they want to make into it, it is original oh, okay. um, the old stove i would like this to be our guest house information center 
people can come up and park here, buy a map, buy a ticket, and just walk around the site after that. Right. Just make this like the uh, main yeah. administration kind of check-in. Okay, so now we'll walk up yeah, around we'll walk this up area. The trail and Check out these, some of these other really cool houses. And we'll get you over to the house. So, all this soil that you saw when you drove up here that goes in both directions? Yeah. That's the tailings. From the, the from the, oh wow. Yeah, everything you're standing on here. Is a, is tailings, basically. It's tailings from the tunnel There's itself. some of it right there. I was going to ask, are these like claimed? Are they, are they all just claimed for preservation or historical? So, no one can come in and... Well, so it, out, it sounds like you guys are trying to put in a lot of work. Yeah, we're putting a lot of work. So this 28 acre site was owned privately, mm -hmm. and they were renting the places out to people. People were living here, but now they donated it to the Friends of Sutro Hill. So this 28 acres is ours. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So we can make it available to public, cool. protected. But in about a week, you know, more of that. Some of these old towns and sites are just. Yeah, I just I feel like it's day. Whoever. Well, there's so many ghost towns around Nevada that people just pick them and tear them apart. Right. And yeah, it's, yeah. Well, it's know, been like, going on for years. Aurora on the other side of the border, Nevada side from Bodie was way bigger than yeah. Bodie whatever it was, but yeah. Not there's, there's nothing left. There left. Yeah, people just tear it apart. Wow. Know, this fun. house so this what's the story behind house, this one? If you look at the foundation, this is the old Shoals house from Carson City. Oh, um, they, so they moved it. They moved it here uh, in the 60s or 70s. Wow. A lot of uh, a lot of people have lived here over the years. Uh, the Miles family lived here. Who are they? Uh, Bill Miles, Miles Construction. Oh, okay. He lived here at one time. Uh, eventually, we'd like Did to, he... we're working on bringing this house back. Did they actually own it, or they just he was like renting, renting. it? Oh, okay. I mean, this was way before he got oh, okay. to where he's at now. Wow, can we go inside or no? Got it. Be cool to check this place out. So what, what year was, so this was built in Carson, but what is, year was it originally? I'm not sure what year it was originally built. Um, I'm still trying to find more information on it. So if anybody out there knows anything about the old Scholes house, please let me know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really cool. So you can head up there. So, I mean, obviously these aren't original, but was it, were there stairs like this originally like no um, or how did they how did you get correct. up there the stairs would have just traveled vertical um, we're not sure exactly where they were uh you can see on the found on the floor here there's a uh, uh so probably it came thinking, in here yeah, this way or this way because the banister you can tell was moved over to the right and what's to the left uh so maybe it went this way we're just not sure so yeah, a lot of people have worked on things out here over the years and fixed changed things, things and yeah, they got like this modernized kitchen. Yeah. So this would be the most modern building out here. Is this Victorian? Hmm. Really cool though. That'd be really cool. Be really fun. Oh, so, we had a paranormal TV show. Oh, yeah. Here. They awesome. Did they get any activity? Yeah, there's some really neat activity in this building. Really? Yeah. It's, it's it was really a lot awesome. of fun. That's cool. <laughs> the bathroom. So this would have been like a bedroom. Probably maybe the bathroom right there. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. You can head on up. You can go up. Yeah. Right. Oh, there's Sable.
just how everything basically is like open up. It's really only like one real bedroom in here. Yeah. Wow. Hey. <laughs> They're, they're so tight. You get a little vertigo when you go up. I know. It looks so much bigger from the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to get a room at all. <laughs> So what's this big one? That one looks like a schoolhouse or something. Or like a boarding house. Uh, which one? This big oh, one? This is the old wood shop. Oh, really? Oh, the big one is the machine shop. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry. The big one's the warehouse. And <laughs> there's a lot of parties in there from the 60s through the 80s, even 90s. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a bar in there. Um, yeah. And out here at the site, I don't know if you've ever seen a statue that's downtown Carson of Adolf Sutro. That bronze statue oh. was made by Greg Melton. And Greg Melton it, at Mills Park, the big uh, one, in, like in front a... of the legislation building. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I. With pickaxe. Okay, okay. So this building here, right? This is the uh, oh, cool. wood shop. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. This one we've been working on really hard on. Um, the volunteers will just kick their butts cleaning this up and fixing it. Fresh linseed oil on the floors. Oh, wow. Still like the original floors, too, it looks like. Yeah, you can't find boards like this anymore. Yeah, those are thick. Wow. Look at the ch old chimney. And so this was the machine, machine shop. This is the wood shop. Oh, wood shop. This is where they make everything. Make all the wood stuff. Good. <laughs> seed oil. Smells <laughs> <laughs> like the past. It's the past. It smells like history. So this red building to your left, that used to be in Carson City also. Oh, really? And one of our caretakers lived there, but oh. that building was across the street from the Nugget. Uh, which is now a parking lot. Right. And that was one of the very last brothels of Carson City. What? Yeah. Really? Still looking for more information on the history of that building, but if anybody knows anything, please. Look That's so up. funny. It's so small. The last brothels of Carson City. Yeah. And so they moved that one out here about the same time as they about moved the same this time one. as the Victorian. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, many of the original buildings have burnt down over the years. Uh, there was a building there. Yeah, it looks like there's a one here with the basement. There, uh, that there was a building behind us there. Oh yeah, with the I see the this cement foundation. Was a swimming pool that they built. Oh really? The party days, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the water would run from the tunnel to here. Wow. Well, we also have the lake over there, but this was filled with water. Uh -huh. Wow, look at, they tried to, it's like they, uh, like it had concrete in there at one yeah. point. So was the name of this town, was it called Sutro? Yeah, or? Sutro, okay. yeah. So this was the Sutro Tunnel Company was here and the town was down below. Okay. But over the years, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, 90s, people lived out here, they partied out here, they had a bar out here. Um, there's a lot of attempts to bring it back to life, different ideas. It's like concrete on the side, like wood. They put the wood braces and then they put the concrete over the wood. <laughs> yeah. Apparently it worked. I've heard they, uh, they had a lot of fun swimming in this. I bet if you did some like metal detecting. Sorry? You got a great, amazing view from up here. Oh. Oh, yeah. The best view in the area. Yeah. 
And we have a lot of the old equipment is lined up right here in front of us. Okay. Next to the old chicken coop. You still like find things oh, like, around here? Yeah, I bet. Every time it rains, stuff comes up out of the ground. It's crazy. I and bet. when they were building the fence around the property, the guys they would put a T post in and sometimes they would just drop straight down. Never to be seen again. Really? They just like find all, a hole? Yeah, well, this, this is, is all tailings. Right, so right. This right. is a natural earth that we're on. This is all the stuff they pulled out of the hole in the mountain. And just buried on <laughs> old ground. Who knows what's under here? Yeah. I bet if you took a metal detector, you could spend all day just like finding oh, stuff. Just in one spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So these are the, the stamps from the old stamp mill that used to be on the site that burnt down in the 70s. Uh, the stamp mill that was here was a cyanide mill mm -hmm. versus a mercury mill, which was common in the day. Cyanide was a lot cleaner than that. That cage. It, one time it was lined with wood and that's what they would drop down you see the eye hook at the top yeah they would drop that down into the mines and it would fill with water and they pull it out to dump the water oh really they'd bucket the water out before they start coming so it was just a giant water bucket oh. the little railing mm -hmm. that's cool This is a small version of something that you would see at the Tonopah mine. This was one of the flat cables. Oh, yeah. Or like a round cable. When it would come up, it would sway. You do these braided flat cables and it would stay flat. And it would balance like anything that you're dropping in or out elevators to bring people in and out of mine shafts. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. You ever find any old like bottles or anything? Oh, or? All the time. Now this was, they would drop this down into the mines and pull it back up full of water. It was a big water bucket. <laughs> so that's These are Pelton wheels. Oh yeah. Pretty wore out, but you may have seen Pelton wheels before, heard of them. They would turn and generate electricity. So like what water would be flowing through that? Water would fill these cups and spin it, and it would make DC power. Oh wow! Yeah. So I was, was wondering what those were. At the site, from the water running out of the tunnel. Wow. Yeah. This is the old chicken coop. I'm not sure how old this building is, but there are pictures of it from the 40s. It's been there for a while. while. So where would have most of the homesteads been back then? You ever seen old pictures? So the, the people were living up here, but the homesteads weren't up here. The homesteads were down there. Right, yeah. This whole area was the town of Sutro. And Dang, I wonder, and they're pretty much building a, looks like they're building a subdivision there or something. Yep, there are developers building a subdivision, right? I wonder if they're finding any like historical things, you know, we never <laughs> yeah. know what could be buried out if there. If they are, they aren't telling us. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, they have to stop digging. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, who knows if they do yeah, exactly. or not? I mean, if they don't tell anybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Little chicken coop. Like, you know, their stuff. What, what, what would halt? Nothing. Um, but would, if they did conscience. report it. Yeah, if no, they, they feel like. It, what would oh. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, I'm no, not sure. I know that, that like finding some native like a, stuff. Like a is... grave you can relocate. Okay. And we do know there's at least two graves out here somewhere. There's okay. two guys for sure, two brothers that died that they buried out here. They don't actually have like a cemetery here? Uh, we don't know where it's at. Uh -huh. You can read about it in the historical papers and the books, but we don't know where they put the cemetery. Right. Or where they buried those two guys at least. Interesting. Yeah. So you got to find the cemetery. Yeah, we've been looking. That'd be a good one to research. Where those trees are, that's where the old uh, stamp mill tracks would go out to it, and the stamp mill was right down below and built up. They'd burn it down there. Uh -huh. So, here on the left is the ore carts, and there's the Sutro Tunnel portal. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
That's the big draw. The mule barn's on the right. That's the oldest building on the site. We'll go in there in a bit. So that was like the main barn. Yep, the mule barn. The mule barn. Mules oh, were, for all the working mules. Yeah, and mules were essential out here. I tried horses, but horses, if rocks fall, if they get excited, they rear up. Right. And they can hit the beams up above them. A mule will put its hair, head down. That's mm. how they use mules. Careful, it's really muddy in this section, but it's pretty dry up here. So what was this building straight this ahead of us? This is the uh, machine shop. Right. So that's a machine shop. Well, Wood shop, warehouse, machine shop. Oh, warehouse, okay. And there's the lake. Right here. So that's a natural lake? Uh, well, <laughs> or just that's a, all the water that drains from the tunnel. It still drains. It still drains to this day. Still works as an addict. Wow. Um, he was telling me that there might be some like hot springs around here or something? Um, or any warm water I pools? Hot water possibly, I just saw it in this thermal. So yeah, this is geothermal. All the water on, in Nevada that's underground, well most of it, is, is geothermal water. It's like a lot of the mines too yeah, so up here. When they would hit the clay when they were mining, that water would come out 120 plus degrees, even hotter than that. Oh People wow. would die from the heat of the water and from drowning. Yeah. Wow. But the water that's coming out, 2,300 feet back, you can see, you just up here, you see way up above the hill, the dirt, you see those two metal pipes sticking up out of the ground? Uh, back there? Oh yeah, the a little bit. The fence? Yeah. Those are, those are huge pipes, that's where the, there's a dam. Oh. That was built back in, 2,300 feet back in the tunnel. The water builds up to that dam and then spills over. Okay. Yeah. Eighteen eighty-eight. Yeah, eighteen eighty-eight is when the portal facade was built. Okay. Eighteen sixty-nine is when the tunnel was started. Started. Eighteen seventy-eight is when the tunnel was completed. Did they start it from here and just dig it up, or did they start at the other end? They in, started here. In okay. Mm -hmm. So they, they probably likely started sometime in September, but the commencement day, October 19th, that's the day Adolf Sutro swung the first pick strike. Right. And he had a bunch of dignitaries out here. They were moving everything from dirt. So a lot of the, the miners that live down here, this is basically how they get to work every day. Um, well, sure, yeah. If After the tunnel was completed so they could access the other mines, people would live in Sutro town, travel through the tunnel to their jobs. Oh. This is oh, you can hear the water. Yeah, hear it? Wow, so that's still draining from... Mm -hmm. That's just snow runoff, basically, that's filling up no, in the... No, that's underground water. Underground water. Uh -huh. So all year round, it's, it's yeah, flowing out. 365. Wow. And it's not ice cold, it's good. Uh. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So that's the collapse. We're working on fundraising to fix this, and then once it's fixed, we'll be able to get tours of inside the tunnel. Right. And at this moment, it's projected to be around 270 grand. Wow, to clear all that out. To clear this section out. And we then don't there's know more. Past. You don't know what's past. We don't know what's past. There's no so they passed this in years. Wow, they've yeah. never tried to go past there? Well, I wouldn't. Would you? <laughs> I mean, a little way. That's like, just, yeah, see that falls. just see that what's in that hole. That is pretty nice. That one board falls. <laughs> yeah, true. And then you can add a ghost. <laughs> yeah, so then it'll be another. Story. Yeah. Yeah, that was John. <laughs> it's all just so it's so much wood, you know. If it was like blown out, like a lot of mines were, yeah. Too much safer. Yeah. 
Well, so, there's just so much going on. This wood that you see here, this was done in early 1980s. Okay. Um, if you look at the historical photos and you look up here, you can see there was a center beam that yeah. went straight down, or a post rather, yeah. and then uh -huh. the archways. And there was two sets of doors. What they did then, early 1980s, is they came through, all this is newer wood, yeah. and they, it was collapsed and they fixed it all the way back to the dam. It's at 2,300 feet or so. Okay. And they dammed up the water and then people could go in and out from there. So there's no, nobody's been past that dam pre-1980. Uh, and before that, it was early. Dang. So maybe likely the 40s to 60s was sometimes the last people that really traveled the whole depth of the tunnel. Wow. Yeah. Would be so amazing to uh, be able to do that, yeah. to go see all that. Well, Francis, so they're trying to raise two hundred seventy thousand. You said two hundred seventy grand is our goal to clear to this clear this out. Yeah, uh, Francis West he so lived you, out here in the nineteen forties. Where can pe people go to donate? Or anything oh, like you can that? go to our website. Okay. Yeah, go on our website. You can donate directly to PayPal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's the website? It's uh, the sutrotunnel dot org. Okay. All right. Sutrotunnel dot org. So yeah. if anybody of you want to donate and help out clear this out, so we can explore it further, there there you go. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be really amazing. I'm, I yeah. bet there's a lot of unexplored places back there, and just different mine tunnels and all kinds of stuff. Well, yeah, th this connects to, to everything. the majority of every mine yeah. that's in Virginia, between here and Virginia City. Yeah. So it goes 3.88 miles straight back to Virginia City, and then it crosses out and goes to the east and the west, and connects to all the other mines from there. Now. That's amazing. So, uh, Francis West in the 1940s, he wrote a story that's on our website explaining the one time that he went in there as a kid. And he says there's rooms back there where the miners would, or the tunnelers and people that would work go in and out of there, could store their clothes. Right, so there's probably gear. all kinds of clothes and artifacts and all kinds of stuff yeah, back there. Tons of stuff back yeah. there. That'd be, I mean, you could probably turn eventually one of these places into like a little museum, you know, once it gets yeah. opened up. And we do have a museum. Oh, do you? Right here in the machine shop. Oh, nice. I'll show you guys that next. Yeah. And so what would have this room been? This was the candle building. Candle building. Uh -huh. So you would get your candle or your light, you I guess. You would get your candles, your lights, the lights for the mules. Uh, if you were under, I think it was 16 years old, you couldn't work in the mines back then. They didn't want kids dying. Right. So you could work in the candle buildings. They mm. prep the candles and they prep the lanterns for the mules and make all that stuff ready for the guys as they came in and out of the tunnel. That's awesome. This is pretty neat. Show you guys this first. So these are the ore carts that have been out here at the site who knows how long, forever. These are electric mules. Oh wow. Turn of the century. Battery powered carts. Wow. Yeah. So your Tesla cars, your electric cars, is nothing new. Right. Battery cells. That's crazy. And then if you look at this cart. So I'm not sure exactly how it worked, but you can see how this rotated in these copper plates. Dang. Yeah. That's that's crazy. The first electric vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, mules you have to maintain and take care of. Right. Um, they get old. You can't take in a diesel or a gas powered vehicle into there. Right. You die from the carbon monoxide poison. Right. But an electric mule. It's genius. Isn't it, we're talking 150 years ago. That's yeah, like yeah. Turn, early 1900s. 140 years ago. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Francis West also has a story where his dad who was the manager of the site in the 1940s, uh, got one of these running again and was driving it in. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. They were still operational in the 40s. Wow. Yeah.
And what well, what was the main? There it was mainly gold here, or gold and silver, silver. right? Silver. silver was the main ore that they were digging out of here. They started with gold. They found placer gold. Right. And then they found they were finding all this other gunk that was in the way, and they just kept throwing it into piles. It was, the it was all silver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They one day they took it in. They got it uh, assayed, and they're like, "Oh, this is a massive amount of silver in yeah. here." And turns out that it's the largest silver find in the United States. Yeah, isn't it like third largest in the world or something yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So you'll see these things sticking out of the ground. Somebody put in place. This is a short one, but there's big ones back here. Uh, these are the old drill bits. Oh, uh, okay, okay. They drove it, huh? Yeah. What year do you think these ovens are from? Sorry, what? What year do you think these ovens are from? I have no idea. Pretty fancy. Oh, there's uh, my daughters, oh. and that's I1. Drea and Nika. Hello. Hi girls. Hello. I want is uh, the caretaker's daughter. I'm I own. I own. I said it wrong. You're right. I own. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. You guys want to say hi to John? Hi. Hello. We're making a YouTube video. It's very nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yep, that's me. I'm gonna make a YouTube, or I'm making one right now. You're in the YouTube video now. <laughs> she doesn't want to be in the YouTube. You, where are you girls going? You going to the lake? I wanted to show them the pond because they're gonna hear some old marble. Okay, well, don't let him get you, okay? I don't think he will. And, and also, um, a few days ago, I, my class on YouTube, um, my class, everybody in there, Ooh, where'd that come from? They came from a, a company who specialized in those tools. No, no, the pellet. They, Where's the pellet? How's it made? It's from an owl. And the owl. <laughs> and, they, and then they poop the Duh. Bottom, Duh. They, poop <laughs> they poop it out? They puke it out. They puke it out. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. You're smart. All right, girls, go have fun. <laughs> Ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> that like that's probably that's not um, not likely not a hundred years old. That's likely thirties, forties. Yeah. These are all and, and what we do, we wander around the side. I told you, stuff just comes up out of the ground, the and we bottle. collect it. We pile it up. Wow. Yeah, there's. Yeah, I'm in the sun. That looks super cool. Some kind of dial there. Yeah, no idea. Yeah, they're looking at that green. Yeah, you asked about bottles. Yeah. I don't know how old that is. Hard to tell. KH T4. I'm not sure. Oh, go ahead. Oh, and this is Asa. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm John. I'm sorry. It's Damien. 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 Nice to meet you. I own just gave me a lecture in owl pellets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Yeah. I'm all excited about Asked it. Asked her where it came from and she was like offended at it. She's like, an <laughs> owl, duh. Duh. <laughs> what do you Where do you think owl pellets come from? I think they're looking for the owl that was the pond. Yeah. Alright, take you guys in here. So this is the old machine shop. It was rebuilt and like some of the other buildings, but used from a lot of the original materials out here. Uh got some... rebuilt. And this is our museum. Nice. <clears throat> Oops. Bottles. Uh, old pickaxe. Baking powder. Oh, where do you start? Start at the left, work your way around. Oh, well, here is Sutra. This will tell you all the dates and the history of the site. Great mass meeting, Piper's Opera House. Uh, party at Piper. Adolf Sutra will address the citizens of Virginia City. Monday Eve, the 20th at 8 o'clock. Subject, the Sutro Tunnel and the Bank of California. 
Wow. Like here is the town of Sutro. And then the tunnel just... Pshht. So are these here, C and D, are they uh, still... Because yeah, where are so, those at? Uh, this would be the Savage Mine connection. Yeah. And then it doesn't actually go straight. It kind of dog legs around. Uh -huh. But then it connects in Gold Hill at the... Um, uh, Yellow Jacket Mine. Over okay, here. okay. And then goes off over here. There's the Utah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And then that's where Virginia City this is. This is Virginia City. Well, Virginia City at that time. Virginia City now is a little bit bigger. Uh, well, it covers a larger area. There's uh, actually right. more people living there back then than there is now. Right, right, right. Lot. So the other entrances. And this is pretty big, too. Yeah, this is. Doesn't this look like. What are these? these parks? Are parks, yeah. Or, uh, so so Sutro, he. Everything he didn't was... draw in the uh, the cemetery. <laughs> no, the cemetery is not there. I'm oh, sorry, your question was? So here's oh, the other entrances. people coming in. What do those look like? So uh, you can see where the, the doors were. It doesn't, the tunnel doesn't open up anywhere else mm -hmm. like it does here. Yeah. Everything else it intersects Commence. with the mines or the vertical shafts. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so like the yellow jacket. The, there's a yellow jacket and the savage. That's... And mines all across in both directions. And there's air shafts. There's four air shafts that travel the length of the tunnel. Look at a ghost in the picture. <laughs> so this is how the tunnel, you can see the tunnel used to be two right. tunnels with a wall in between. Oh, wow. One side for the tracks, the carts, and, one side and the other for the, side for the water. Okay. Was this the other side? Mm -hmm. So the water would travel through this? Originally, it was a redwood um, channel. Mm -hmm. And then transition to that pipe. Oh. And now it's just a dam. And now it's just a dam. Yeah, a dam that trickles out. Yeah. So that's when was this taken? I'm not sure when that one was taken. It looks like I in think the, the 80s they or 90s. In 07. Okay. It, I think it's when, but that one might be old. <laughs> That building doesn't look like it's there. That's this building. Oh, is that this one? Yeah. What's this one? That's the mansion. Oh, really? Okay. That's the mansion. We'll head up there next. It <laughs> okay. It burned down in 1940s. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So it burned down. But the foundation I'll check still. it. The, this has got the tracks that going into here. I guess so you could bring the carts. Yeah, so you could bring the carts in here and they can work on them. You can find some older photos of what the inside of the machine shop used to look like. But like I said, it's been... The chief engineers. Some old cowboys. This is the warehouse. That's that building right there. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Happier days back then? And here's <laughs> a kid sitting on one of the electric mules. And here's this building that oh, we're yeah. in. Okay. And there's a mule barn. So this is the portal facade. You can kind of see it there. That was before it was turned to what it looks like now. Right. It was made to look like this in 1988. Pre-88, it looked like that. Okay. You mean 1888? 1888. Not 1988. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here's the inside of the machine shop. Oh, wow. So this is what this used to look like in here. Yeah. That's a scale. Well, some old old silverware and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is a scale. Yeah. That's cool. Some more pictures of the building. bottles are really cool look at this one still got a McCumber's apple cider since 1858 I wonder here they that was from though yeah I don't 
Because of the I label know, makes me. <laughs> well, it says, yeah, the company was since 80. Oh, yeah. Probably from like the 30s or 40s, I'm guessing. Could be. I don't know about that one, but it's old. All the old mule. Mule hooves, horse, horse, I mean mule shoes and horse shoes. An old Harrah's one dollar chip. So here's the town. I think this is the building we're in. And then this is the the pool. Well, this in the case, we have a couple of crates full of those, but those are core samples. Oh yeah. Yeah, we see these a lot. So I've seen those before. Those, those are for the balls. essay. For, we, oh, the balls. Those are from the uh, uh, tumblers. Um, the, those balls, they, they start out huge, and they break down and they work down to being really small, these bearings, and this big tumbling machine. That would, it's like a giant rock tumbler. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they do that? It would break down the ore. Oh, so okay. They separate it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, some people are like, oh, those are An old court? Uh, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> this old bottle. Wow. So that's a real old court. Yeah, that could be 150 years old. Mm -hmm. you, can touch it. Okay. you can touch it. Yeah. You can buy nails on our website. <laughs> when was this picture taken? A picture taken in the 1940s. Wow. So this is after the mansion had burnt down. Okay. But when the pond was still one pond, it's two ponds now. Okay. There's a bridge in between. But and you then can the stamp, you can see the, the mill there. Yeah, that's the cyanide stamp mill. That's what's left of that building by all the old machinery. Right. There's a wood shop. The chicken shop. coop. The chicken coop. There's the wood shop. That building is where underneath of it is the swimming pool now, uh -huh. the warehouse. There's one of the caretakers' homes. You can see that and the red house there. But this is before the, the, the Victorian. The Victorian. Here. Wow. Very cool. And this is from that's the, from the fire. From the Here's fire. the fire. Dang, that sucks. It would have been cool to see that. Yeah. Well, that's oh, the I stamp mill. In, that's that's stamp the stamp mill in flames. So. Yeah. Okay. So the Sutro Mansion burned down a long, long time. Forties. Wow. And then the stamp mill burned down in '67. Okay, okay. That's in the 70s or 60s. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, you guys want to go explore some more? Yeah, yeah, let's go. You can see how somebody could just spend days out here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude. I wouldn't be able to help from like not like digging metal stuff out of the ground, just trying to find things. Well, we do. It, it, you don't even have to dig. Like I said, it just comes up. I'll show you the bone yard soon. We'll head up to the mansion site, go down to the lake, and the mule barn, and I'll show you your bone yard. Okay. So this is what's left of the Sutro Tunnel. Sutro Mansion. Sutro Mansion. I mean, it's just basically a foundation. This is where the gold's buried. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Under the, yeah. under you know, got to check under the floorboards. Under the floorboards, either in the bedroom or by the chimney. You're walking up to the front porch. This would have been the front porch. You can walk up there. Was that a water pipe? Um, so there, there was a water tank that was up above the under that fences. 
they would pump the water from the mine up or the tunnel up into there, fill up the mine tunnel, and they had to bring the water in the house. Uh, this is probably one of the oil pipes. They had electricity here, they had heat, they had running water. Oh wow, running water too. Right. But she didn't really ever like it in the water. She was very happy in the water. <laughs> yeah, they did go back. Uh, well, Sutro had sold in, shortly after the tunnel was complete. He sold at the height of the value of the stocks and moved out. Wow, look at this. And then, uh, well, so it's probably good timing. You know, Perfect timing. Smart man. Years later, they, you know, Isn't this one of those things where they drop it? Not sure. Where they drop it? Where they would just, I don't know, just like chink, chink. Oh, like a tamping? Yeah. Maybe. Well, it has an eyelid on it. Yeah. Yeah, that, who knows? There's all sorts of stuff that's laying around out here. Yeah, after they left, they went to the San Francisco and uh, some melted glass. Up like a tenth of the city. Built the Sutro Bath. Built the Cliff House. He built the Cliff House. Yeah. The one that burnt down. Yeah. Well, wow. It burnt down a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was you know Sutro that built that. Oh, I didn't know that. He ended up being the mayor. You know the Sutro. Uh, he was the mayor of San Francisco? Yeah. Wow. I know, I'm like... Nobody's ever dug this up. Old that, nails. That'd be another project for the future, is to have this whole area exhumed. And... Yeah, look at all these nails. Yeah. Just a whole pile. Square nails, yeah. These are from the 1800s for sure. Oh, yeah. Handmade nails. After the house burnt down, the family that was living in the town at the time, the West family, they moved into the old estate building and uh, picked that up and lived in there. The that was that thing. Too big to be a work for it. Oh! I think. Gosh, I was told what that is. I forget. Really? They drop down this side to get to the round of the lake. And you'll see a whole bunch of other old stuff. This is shooting and destroyed, a bunch of old glass and pottery. Okay, bone. Yeah. It was part of their countertop. Old piece of marble. Marble countertop. Could be. Cool stuff. There's a big nail. No, that is a big one. That's a round nail. Yeah, it's newer, huh? Probably from well, something his dad, else. Uh, Francis West's father, who was the caretaker out here, he, he was working on the mansion too and fixing it up. Oh, uh, he probably added some. So he, that might be from him. Yeah. Maybe just a bucket of nails that happened to be in the fire. Bucket of them, man. Bucket of blood. I think that's where we're going after this. That's the Virginia City. Oh, nice. Decorative corner.
through it this way. Here, kind of stumbled across this one there. And do you do you guys still currently do? Oh, what is this? A house? I don't know. Some kind of shack or something? Shack? Do you guys still do current like uh, tours up here? Yeah. Um, That's all on the website too. It's on the website. As we're opening up public tours, uh, it'll be posted on the website. Okay. But if you want a private tour, members get private tours. So you just call me. Okay. And uh, we can arrange something. We also do private events out here. So okay. if you have a venue or an event you want to hold. Get a hold of it. We can hold it out here. That's cool. So yeah, check out the website if you want to do any of that. It's like they made like an old drainage pipe here. Yeah, this looks like somebody got some stuff together to yeah, like to make a good. yeah a shelter or something. oil can yeah you'll see a bunch of old stuff with bullet holes in it out here yeah I bet all this glass It's more purple glass. You want to save this? No, I just pick it up and play with it a little bit. Oh. <laughs> it just, whole glass is neat. Yeah, there's tons. Part of a teacup? A teacup, yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, bottles up. Maybe that was Emma, Eda, Adolf's daughter. Teacup. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the bottle. Get a plaque with it. Damien found that. Plaster. So these three peaks that are up behind here, those are named after Adolf's daughters. Okay. Yeah. Emma Peak and Rose Peak. You get another shot of it here soon, but over there, that's Emma Peak. Up there. And then Mount Davidson, uh, part of that is named after one of his daughters, too. This is a bunch of just leftover stuff from the site. We found that boat out here when, you first, when the original volunteers first started coming out to clean up the site. Found an old sailboat. Yeah. This isn't part of it, one of the regular tours, but I like going over here.
real muddy. Yeah. I wonder if you could pan this for anything. I think they're pretty good at getting most of the good stuff out. Yeah. Ago. We don't know how it was, but it broke. What did the that pipe right there? And the this whole area flooded out. What happens is the level of the lake rises, and once it reaches a certain height, you can see it's just below where the top of the pipe is now. The water will pump out of that pipe. Oh wow. Yeah. They've lost thousands of gallons of water in the summer. Do you try to hold on to the water or? I mean, you gotta hold it somehow, you can't just let it flood out in our neighborhood. Mm. So we're coming up on the bone yard. Here, there's some really cool stuff. Old war cars, wagons, parts of the old uh, uh, sand mill. <laughs> I see you girls! You're on YouTube! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Old cart. Yeah, really cool. Oh, buggy. Yeah. And over the years, people have kind of, you know, take stuff out of here, but that's why the area's been soft Spencer. now. So we can protect this stuff and try and organize it and catalog it. And stuff exactly what we have. And put it out on display. Piles of wood. Some bones. <laughs> What's it? So I heard a story that uh, somebody had a tiger out here at one time. Oh wow! Uh, and that's why there's those the drill bits are put around the machine shop. Uh, this might have been part of that fence. A, a tiger fence? Yeah. So you, you hear a lot of stories. I'm not sure if it was a tiger or a lion or even maybe just like a mountain lion. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> It, the story changes, but you hear a lot of stories about what they used to do in the party days out here. Dang. Yeah. A lot more stuff than we get to. And I've never really dug through this wood. It's been piled up and collected over the decades. Hopefully we get to dig it in there. Some more than we'll find. This thing's pretty neat. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's got two seats on it. Well, it's a, it looks like a swing set. It's like a swing set. <coughs> a little bit of 
levers that direction and then swings. So I'm not sure if that was part of one of the big pieces of equipment out here or just something that swings there. Who knows? Pretty sturdy built for just being a swing set. Maybe it was a, I don't know. Or maybe it's a ski lift. Could be Might be an old ski lift. An old yeah. ski lift. So I'm just kind of collected out right here. Look at all these bolts. Uh, rivets. 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 Yeah, they, yeah. They put those in while they're like hot, right? And yeah. then they basically weld into place. Mm -hmm. Stamp it. <laughs> they spread. Yeah, there's where the. Um, this is part of the old fence, but this is where the stamp mill was. Just over that way. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, you can see the potential of a site this big. Oh yeah. Especially once we get that tunnel opened up. People love to come out of here. Big time. Yeah, that'll be I th that'll be big when if you can get if they can get everything opened up to where people can go people back in there. People come out here all the time. You can get that tunnel. It's amazing. It's muddy. And this is the oldest building on here. This is the oldest building on the... You can read about this as one of the original buildings in his biography. See, those are the crates full of the tailings. Oh, yeah. They're not tailings, I said. Core crates samples. Full of the core samples. Where's the gold? Really cool. Yeah, mules were a huge part of the place out here. So I found a whole bunch of old writings made off sea trails uh, just in the mule caretaker. Uh, <laughs> they would write weekly. And more often than that, even about what you hear in mules and how mules are built. Mules are out there, and it was the end of the world for this guy. And Sutra loved the animals. So these are not lure, these are mule shoes. He's protecting mule's feet. Oh, wow. So, so they'd wear those into the mines. They'd wear the, these into the tunnel. Uh. You can tell because of how new this was that the tunnel was still operational. Right. Yeah. I mean, new as in, like, 40s. Oh, and that's then, a cool yeah, these are mule shoes. Some of these are formed and not working like you can tell the other mule shoes yeah. go up. Yeah. Really cool. What are these? Oh, these be harnesses for the mules. Uh huh. Tack that we've found out here. Looks like some more places to hang in there forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then we've got a little bit of an outdoor item museum. Uh, one of our volunteers. He loved it out here, and he would wander around and collect things and bring it back here. He passed away uh, fairly recently. You can read about him on our website too. And um, 
he would put all this stuff out. Oh, oh nice. That's okay, I'll show you. What's that thing? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I have no idea what that is. Wait. Yeah. Miners after dark. No miners. No after miners dark. after dark. <laughs> Dang! Look at the old dog door. Yeah. <laughs> if you look, go inside there and look to your left. Yeah. We're talking about those balls, the crushing machines. No way. Yeah. That means they're. That's what they would. In the SA office, where, where they would melt, melt down the samples. And see what was in there. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Yeah. All sorts of neat stuff. And I think we only got one building left to go in, and that'd be the warehouse. So the craziest thing you or anyone else has found out or what is it out if they need to? <laughs> Any bodies? What's that? What's the craziest thing uh, you or anyone's found out here? Oh man, um, <laughs> craziest thing? Actually, I didn't find out here, but it was done out here. Uh, uh, in 19, I think it was 1967, there was a film shot out here. Uh, an adult film. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I can't find it. I'll send you guys a link. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said to me, I didn't know what it was at first. I click on it, I'm like, oh. But what's really neat from this, about it, An adult film from the 60s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's really neat, though, is you can see uh, a lot of the old buildings at the site. That's cool. Yeah, along with a lot of other old stuff. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. An adult film from the 60s. Yeah. It's just like, her, it's just not even, compared to today, it's not even rated R. It's like, yeah, no, it's just like a normal movie. <laughs> no, they get a little risque in it. Little... Yeah. But it's, you see worse than a lot of Right. right. Now this building here is probably what a lot of people hear about. They see Pete's place. They see, um, you know, stories about uh, a lot of the, the bar and Pierce and uh. the bands. There's a lot going on. Why don't you just keep your money through here? So we'll go wide and come in. This is the best place of all. fireplace that was in the building they would put huge logs inside of it burn all night long yeah, yeah. those are fireplaces oh the big ones damn party yeah show movies here up there and before that it was the actual warehouse and the office building the guys would come in here the miners would come in here to get their checks and do paperwork. Still the original foundation. Huh? Uh -huh. You see that rock foundation? Yeah. Old nail. Old nail. Oh, ghost. Oh, you guys are in here? <laughs> you found the ghost. There is not a ghost. Who's that dog? How do you know? Didn't you see the movie? There, oh. <laughs> no. no, there's no such thing as ghosts. That's okay. No ghosts. Hi, pup. I have no idea. Hi, pup. It's okay to come out. You got a coat on? 
Who's over there? Nika? Nika, careful. Oh, no. Careful, baby. No, Nika is okay. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Hi, Coda. Look, you can see where the stairs used to be. Yeah. So, the stairs are put there. We don't know when. It's really cool, but um, um, up there, um, there's a step, and it's tired for me to get down. It's tough, mm. yeah. I'll take them up there. Okay. Can we have the building for a little bit, girls? Cool. You guys come back in. What is this? Oh, somebody must have telling you shit. So yeah, this you can see on the walls where people would like write their names and dates when they were out here. Oh yeah. Uh, the stairs. Like, January 6, ninety three. That's probably eighteen ninety three. No, that's that's nineteen ninety three. People oh. were still living out here in the nineties. And uh, so in twenty sixteen is when the friends of Sutro Tunnel uh, started coming out and fixing the site up and cleaning it and mm. turning it more into a historic site. Uh, before then, people were just living out here, partying out here. Mm. Yeah. It's like one of the ghost towns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like one of the other ghost towns. Yeah. Tunnel King. Yep. But now we're bringing it back, we're fixing it. So the bar was here, and you can see in some of the old photos, we pierced behind the bar, the stuffed cat yeah. on the wall. But yeah. all that stuff is now gone. Mm. And then cool. we can go upstairs. These stairs, though, still, they were here. So we, <laughs> we moved them over here to be more original, at least in a lot of the uh, photos we've seen from when the bar we see of the stairs were here instead of there. But um, I don't know at what level they're at yet, so we'll go up to the ladder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's where they would show the movies. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is just covered in uh, bird poop in the volunteers. Oh, I bet. Work your ass off to clean it. Still pretty original floorboards. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can see the difference. These are a lot more narrow. Oh, uh, yeah. These are wide. These are later. Yeah, you can kind of see the transition of history and timelines. Crazy. What's that? Your foot window. Yeah. Yeah, you can <laughs> that it's not broken like most of the other windows. <laughs> Think probably likely one of the offices. Right. You see where the fireplaces used probably to be. Probably ended up being a, a bedroom at one point too. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
Well guys, I think we've now seen the majority of the tunnel in the tunnel site. Well awesome. Yeah. Well uh thank you Chris for showing us the, the <laughs> Sutro camp finally. I've been waiting years to see this, so it's cool to finally be able to see it. Um, if anybody else wants to see it or donate to the projects, you can go to the website, what is it? SutroTunnel.org. SutroTunnel.org. All right. And uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you out there on the next adventure. <laughs> Thanks, John. Wow. Whoa. She just found that on the ground. Wow. An 1884 dime. Wow. United <laughs> States. Is this like laying on the ground? Yeah, I suppose it was like a thing. One dime. Well, that's probably that's probably worth something. It's probably worth a dollar. <laughs> it's probably worth more than that. Yeah, it's probably. That's so cool. Dang, I would look for more. No, I said I would be looking for more. Wow.